Today we are creating dashboards from AWS Metrics, but we're going to do it with PowerShell. Hey there, this is Tom from Tom's Tech Show. Today we're kind of taking a break out of uh, Marvel and Orville and videos like that because of Comic-Con things that are going on. Um, and we're kind of moving back today. I'm going to make a more heavy technology type programming video. Um, just because that's part of the core of what I'm trying to do is build a library of functions and different things that people can use. Um, that's kind of, you know, bring people to know the channel just from all the, the technological base that I'm creating. So anyway, today we're going to kind of go over um, CloudWatch alarms. I had a task to do the other day where I create some alarms. If I look at some here, so these are CloudWatch alarms and we create a dashboard from those which allows us to see kind of in one place um, information about one server, multiple servers, uh, different items or metrics that we are tracking. So here this is one server and it has five different monitors, disk, memory, network, in and out, and CPU. So that allows me to come to one place and say what's going on with this box and be able to see hopefully quickly diagnose what's going on. So when I have one of these it's pretty easy just to go to AWS and you basically click into uh, the alarms, click one of them, click add to dashboard and it will help you add that to dashboard. If I click two of them Add to dashboard button goes away, so I cannot add these in bulk to the dashboard. So, how do I get them scriptomatically? How do I get them into the dashboard? So, I can run a command. This command is uh, you do paren get dash cw dashboard dash dashboard name and then the name of the dashboard close paren dashboard body and that will get you the body of the dashboard so you have kind of broken one out it's kind of spaced out a little bit so that we can like read it a little bit better so we're going to start with in the the panel in the dashboard has the the object widgets and that's going to let me build inside here all the different widgets that I want. Um, so we're going to have, it's going to be the type is metric. You can set a width and a height of it. You can also set the X and Y position that is also in here. I've just taken those out so that it automatically creates the new ones. Um, you give it a title and you can add the alarm annotation because if you see in here in these we have this little red line here that shows where it's going to alarm. So as it gets closer, if you see it getting closer to that alarm, you'll be able to know, okay, this is getting close to the alarm, and then you know, kind of proactively be able to get two things. So then um, this, I have some variables in here. So there's this EC2 name, my AWS region. This is going to be the uh, account number, and then your, again, your EC2 name. So you can kind of build these uh, based on information that you already know. So once, so what I did was I, I built the dashboard and then I used that get CW dashboard command to get the base JSON. Now if I look here in this script, so I have this all set up. So I have my, my uh, beginning and ending code of the widget that's going to go in there because if you see here you have to do widgets that's a start and then you have to end that up and then inside you build the widgets okay so and I have my a query that goes I have all of my EC2 instances named and in a database and that triggers how to push them out to AWS it's a whole deployment script so building the dashboard I come in here and I take each of those pieces and I break that JSON down and add my variables. Here's the EC2 name, my AWS settings are here, um, all that, what, what type it is, whether it's, uh, scroll over a little bit, whether it's network in or out, adding the alarm, uh, things like that, the AWS settings that I have, all of that gets kind of 
populate and creates the uh, metric and the dashboard item. Now here I've changed the the height is still four in here, but I've changed the width to 12, so it's going to be a longer one. It's going to build a panel kind of down, of uh, kind of longer widgets, give me a longer view of the timeline. Okay, so now that I have that, let's go in and let's build this, and we'll see what it looks like once we get it built. So this is my command set dash that I have in here. It just takes a second, so it's going to go and load AWS module and boom, populate them and be done. So it's really pretty quick in order to do that. So let me, I need to refresh the page over here and we'll go and check. It's going to be test three is my new dashboard. So we'll go to test three. Okay. So now you can see Test 3 has a dashboard with some wider dash wider dashboard panels and all the panels are here and you can see you can see all of the names right we couldn't really see network in and network out before very well now we can see all of it and we can see the little expand minimize and expand and refresh commands and all that are there so doing these things and building it like this helps me to be able to you know kind of customize it put things where you want onto these dashboards and since my last deployment, I had 18 of these things to do with 90 different panels to put, you know, pieces to put in there. I didn't want to go to each one, click there, add a dashboard, click add a dashboard. Am I going to pick the right dashboard? Um, am I going to miss one? So doing it programmatically like this really is beneficial. And then you can add it to a complete deployment script, automatically build your dashboard, which is what I'm going to eventually do for each system eventually be able to have it when it deploys the EC2 instance automatically go and populate the dashboard. So, um, okay, so that creates your dashboard. I'm gonna get this code that I have and kind of strip it down a little bit and I'll put this up into my code repository. Um, but it was pretty simple and easily once I got the JSON format that was needed by doing the get CW dashboard in the beginning, pulling that JSON down and seeing what properties are there, kind of manipulating them to how I wanted, and then repost, rebuilding that and reposting it back with the right CW dashboard, dashboard name, and then the JSON that gets put back that we've built, and then we push that up to, and then it just creates the dashboard. It was pretty, pretty quick, pretty easy to do once I knew the format that it needed to be pushed up into. Okay, so there you can now create your own dashboards. Now this does do 100% destruction of your dashboard. So when you create a dashboard, if you have a dashboard that's already there, that has information on it, you need to rebuild the dashboard from, from the start. You can't, you're not going to be able to add, you're not adding pieces to it. You're recreating the entire dashboard. So know that, that when you're pushing it back up, that you need to have all the pieces that were, if you have dashboard parts that are currently there, you can do a get CW dashboard and then add pieces to it and then do a write CW dashboard in order to recreate the dashboard with all of the original pieces. Otherwise, you're going to miss the first part of your dashboard. All right. Well, that's the episode for today. Um, if you have any questions or any comments about this, or if you're new to PowerShell and getting onto AWS, and being able to program uh, AWS with PowerShell, uh, just check back on the technology feed playlist in my channel and you'll see all different videos about how to get there, how to get connected to AWS, how to run commands and all that. And all those videos are out there. Uh, creating EC2 instances, um, adding hard drives, changing hard drive size of EC2 instances, all that stuff is already there. So go back and review those, and then you can come back and create yourself a dashboard for your instance that you made in AWS. All right. So thanks for watching this one. Um, stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe, like all the things that they do in in YouTube, and it'll know help me to know what to continue to make in videos. If you have a video that you want me to make that you have questions about, go ahead and comment and tell me what you want me to make, and I will 
do my best to attempt to make that video for you. All right. Thanks for watching again and take care.